Welcome back to World War II Solitaire board game channel where we're gonna take a look at another print and play roll and write game. And today we're gonna take a look at Panzer Dice Eastern Front. Uh, this game uh, requires you only to print out 11 pages, so uh, quite an easy print and play game. Um, you will need either a uh, a pencil with a marker, uh, eraser, and or some cubes. So you can choose between that. I personally go for the cubes, so I only have to print out one set of these game sheets. Uh, obviously, if you write all over them, you're gonna have to print them out again or you know erase all that stuff. Takes a long time. Then you're gonna need about ten dice. It's a little bit unclear in the rules, but something like ten dice, and they should also be in a different color. Uh, I it's specifies that it should be in different color. I haven't really seen a reason why. Uh, maybe because I haven't really played it too much the game to uh, figure that out, but it specifies that you should need uh, two different colored dice. So, so that's the way it works. Anyway, uh, we have here uh, two game sheets where we will uh, play our game. Let's get back into that in a bit. We have our rule book, which is a total of nine pages, so a total of 11 pages. Uh, the rules are actually quite short because you have this front page, uh, you have your introduction and then you have two game examples of your game sheets. And then the rules themselves are one, two, three and four pages long. So that's just four pages of rules, a fifth page with some difficulty level settings and some scenarios uh, which you can play with once you have mastered the main game. So easy enough the rules. However, there is uh, a small problem with the rules or I don't know if you want to call it a small problem, but it's uh, basically uh, there are some, I don't know how they have, because this is a, I believe the game designers are uh, from Colombia and there are, uh, I think the main game was designed in Spanish and I don't know how they have translated the rules, if someone person has translated them, perhaps a person um, who doesn't have English as their first language and then perhaps using uh, like a tool like Google Translate to, to translate uh, the game because there are some uh, not just grammatical errors, there are some other errors that can make it quite hard to def decipher the rules. Uh, I'll give you an example here on page number five of the rules. Uh, for example, in moving through the field, uh, as you move through the field, you will find different hexagons that can be in your favor or in your against. So, I mean, uh, that doesn't really, I mean, it's a fun grammatical error, but you can understand what they want to say. Uh, same go goes for if you look, for example, in uh, repair. When you stop in this hexagon, you can recover three points of armor on one of your T-34 or all the armor points on the turret and canyon. And it's constantly referring to the cannon as the canyon. So that's kind of hilarious, you know. Should have uh, had a, a person with English as their first, uh, you know, language uh, check these rules out and make corrections. Or perhaps uh, someone who, uh, you know, um, spoke the language fluently at least. Uh, there are some other problems, like for example in bombing, it, I think it kind of goes beyond just having uh, bad English because I, I had to contact the game designer about this section because I just ca can't understand it. Uh, if you want to read it yourself, you know you're gonna have to buy the game. Uh, I can give you a short look here on uh, bombing. Uh, you can take a look at your at it yourself. Let me know if you understand, especially that first paragraph doesn't make sense to me because, uh, well, we'll get into that basically later, but basically you're gonna roll dice which you will put on these panzers and it doesn't tell you anything else and then suddenly in these bombing rules of all places it's saying that we should, you know, leave them be until it's full and then we will bomb. Anyway, uh, that's that's my one complaint with this game. On the upside, uh, the game designer is quite generous and 
contacting him he has been very quick to answer my questions and once I get some uh, clarifications I can post them on the forums of Board Game Geek uh, in case you want to play the game and you don't want to run into the same dead ends that I have. So let's take a look at the game design. So uh, we have our two uh, game sheets. This is another error you might see here because in the rules we will reference to game sheet number one and game sheet number two. But both of them say game sheet number one here. But I mean from the page number you can kind of figure out which is one and which is two. Uh, this is one and this is two. So basically uh, again uh, you will track your uh, health, your ammunition, your fuel. You can do that either by placing, uh, like I do, uh, cubes, or you can go ahead and use a pencil. I, again, I think the cubes are your best way to do it. These little cubes are perfect size. They come with Castle Ither and Pavlo Pavlov's House first edition releases. So I'm going to go ahead and place out. You will also mark uh, your bombers. You have Illusion and Stuka bombers. And then uh, over here you're going to go ahead and mark your the position of your tank. So when you start playing the first thing you're going to do is roll the dice to see where you start. We roll number one. That means that we're start, going to start all the way down here. Okay. So once you do that you are ready to go. Then you will roll a... Uh, a total of six dice and that was quite a bad dice for us guys because number two and number three are, are panzer dice and those dice are gonna be basically uh, panzers attacking us uh, then we have number five which is a shooting dice you can see them all arranged here so number five is gonna be a shooting dice okay uh, but again, two and three is not good for us. A one would be radio order, a four would be repair, uh, six would let us move out. So now basically what we have to do with these dice is place them out uh, with different tanks. And basically uh, these are tanks which will engage us. And, you know, uh, let's just say because we're placing them out we are rotating the tank choosing how to stand how to face our enemy so this was an extremely unlucky uh, roll we can do it again just for fun to see another situation and you can see in this roll we are also quite unlucky man I i'm gonna do it again just because i want to show you a better example uh, okay so this is definitely a better example here we have uh, one pass of dice again we get to choose where we want to place it out uh, I want to place it out in this left field because let's say I have uh, the highest amount of armor there. And then we got two fives, which are shootings, uh, two six, which are move on the field, and then one one, which is radio order. Whoops. Uh, okay, so we are done with that step. Then we are going to go on to our action phase. In, in our action phase, we get to do all of this stuff that we have actions for. So we have, for example, two move in the field. So uh, first of all, you will do these in uh, in order. So you have to start with number one, which is radio orders. You can change the result of another die or the same. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the result of this one to a five. Uh, and then I have three shootings here, actually. Uh, or actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this to a six. Because these are going to be enough to take out this panzer. So uh, then I'm going to do my shooting phase. And each dice is one shot. And with the shot you will reduce the die number by one. So it's reduced by two. And then for each additional uh, die you get two shots. So then this one turns into one and zero. And that uh, tank is taken out. We are going to use... Uh, here we have uh, our column which are going to track how many tanks we killed once we have killed 20 tanks we will get a full repair and uh, i think ammunition as well if i remember correctly something like that uh, anyway so the tank has been taken out and then we have move on the field you move uh, oh before we do that we are going to decrease our ammunition by one two three points uh, so to 20 points i don't know why it's like 26 24 22 20 uh, no idea. I'm just uh, 
guessing that that's kind of an error. Same goes here, man, uh, for the fuel, 23 to 21 and so on. Quite strange. Anyway, I will decrease it by three, uh, three boxes, and then we have uh, move on the field. You move two and adjacent hex. Uh, two hexagons for each additional die used. So this will be a total of five uh, movements. So I will just go up north. One, two, three, four, five. And then I will decrease my fuel by one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so say let's uh, that's that concludes now our action phase. And that will uh, go to our uh, phase number three, which is the last phase, uh, which is the panzer phase. So let's say that this panzer is still alive, right? So during the panzer or, or the panzer shot phase, you will uh, roll one dice or two dice if your uh, tank is in a gray hexagon. And let's say we're in a white now, right? So we will just roll one. And then that number uh, will correspond to these numbers and that tank will fire at you. So for example, if we had a tank in C here, rolling a 2 he would fire uh, now we have a tank in A so he will fire so this tank will uh, fire and that means we have an A here and A means the left side so my uh, or oh, sorry <laughs> yeah, it is my right uh, left side but it says right side shield here for some reason anyway <laughs> on my left side shield uh, I will decrease uh, the, w the value of 1 uh, because he's been shot once by that uh, by that um, uh, by that enemy. So uh, basically, that's it. You can see here that we, you know, we will move on. We can pick up ammunition. We can uh, visit villages and get some uh, resupplies. Once you get closer, you will have to deal with some uh, mines and 80 guns. And basically the goal of the game is to get all the way over here to the flags. And once you do that, you have won the game. And you have, you know, uh, to conserve your ammunition, your fuel and stuff like that. Uh, make sure to get resupplied to make it all the way. So you can't just, you know, gun it uh, and think you're going to make it because that's not, uh, that's not going to be a good tactic. So anyway, that's, uh, that is uh, Panzer Dice. Uh, I think it's actually a very clever design, a fun design. Uh, unfortunately, played with the, with the bad translation. Uh, I think uh, really it should be quite easy to fix, fix those issues and you would have a great little game, certainly worth uh, a dollar. So anyway guys, stay tuned, I will be doing a playthrough video of this game once I get some clarification from uh, the designer. Uh, I will show you how this game runs and um, hopefully I will enjoy it. Uh, as always guys, please do subscribe, helps me out a lot and thank you for watching. See you next time.